What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through a parallel lines construction. So we want to construct a line through point P that's parallel to line L. So in order to do this, the first thing we want to do is just draw some random line. And the line is going to go through line L, and it's going to intersect point P over here. And what we could do is we could label this point over here at the start. Let's say we call this point A, and up here is point P. So then what we do with the compass is we're going to bring it over to point A, and we're going to extend it out. And we just have to extend it far enough that it actually hits both of these lines that we have. So we draw one arc so that it hits line L. And then we're going to draw another arc so that it hits the line that we just created. And we're going to move the compass now over to point P. And we're going to repeat this process. So we're going to draw the arc so that it hits the new line that we added. And you could visualize where the parallel line is going to go. It's going to go about here. So when we swing this arc, we want to swing it in such a way that it's going to go through that parallel line in the last step. So then the next step here is you need to measure the distance between these two points. So the two points that I'm highlighting here, we're going to measure that distance. So I'm going to place the compass at this point. And to measure the distance, what I do is I adjust the compass so that it lands directly on this point. And to show that I actually measured that distance, I'm going to swing an arc here. So that shows that I actually measured the distance between these two points. So now I move the compass over here to the point on the new line. And what we're going to do is we're going to swing that arc like this. So now what we have is we have two points to draw our line. We're going to draw a line that goes through point P. And it's going to hit the intersection of the arcs we just created. So now if we had to label everything and conclude, we have, let's just put some arrows here at the end of both of these lines. But if I name this line, let's say we call it line M, I could say that line L is parallel to line M. And line M does go through point P. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on constructing parallel lines. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.